Hi everyone, in this screencast I'm going to show you three tips for customising the player in Articulate Storyline. So the player is this frame that we have around the edge of our, our slides and in, on our courses and this is the standard um, by default look and, and feel of the player. So what I'm going to show you is how you can move say the menu from here and maybe put it uh, across this part of the player called the top bar how you can move the resources tab from where it is currently, again maybe to the other side of the top bar. Then I'm going to show you how you can actually create new uh, top bar player tabs and add them to your player. And finally I'm going to show you how you can rename say buttons or the name of your tabs or the name of your menu, how you can do that. So let's have a look and, and see how we do those three things. I'm going to close my preview and what we need to do is go to the player settings. Now I'm going to access them from here, just from story view. You can also get to the player um, properties or player settings if you're in slide view and in the home tab it's the same icon. So I'm just going to double click on that to open it and here we have all of our player properties. So there's lots of things you can do in the player and I'm just going to show you those three things. And what we have here as well is we have a bit of a thumbnail preview of, of our player so as we make changes we can see how they look here um, before we close it down and, and have a look at it for real. So at the moment what we have is we've got a menu down the left hand side and a resources tab over there on the right and in this player tabs area I can see that I have those objects ticked and it also shows me that the menu is in this on the sidebar it shows me that resources tab is top bar right. So the top bar is this part of the player, the right side and the left side. And what you can actually do to move them around is that if I wanted to move the menu and I didn't want it hanging off to the side here, I can click here on the menu to select it and there are these arrow keys up and down. And if I click on the up arrow key, it now moves my menu to the top bar right area and here it is over here on the right hand side of the of the, the top bar of the player. And instead of it being visible the user would have to click on it to open it up and, and, and see the menu. If I keep using the arrow key I can move it now to the other side of resources and move it again and I can have it on the left hand side if I wanted to. Same sort of thing with the resources tab is I can select it and use the arrow keys to move it to the left hand side of the player and really move, move it all around and, and customize it. Maybe I might want to have the menu on one side and resources on the other. So you can play around with those. The only thing is you, you can't move them to the bottom part of the player, it's only to the, to the left and the right or have it to the side of the player. Now you can also add some additional uh, tabs to your player for, for different things and one of the areas I've seen it used is if you wanted to say create an exit button um, or access to a light box slide and you want that available on every slide of your course and you don't want to take up any space on the slide itself. So what we have again still in this player tabs area is that we have this little add button here that it's going to add another tab to the top bar of our player. So if I click on add I can give it a name and in this case I'll use the exit name. Then we can say if we want it on the left or the right hand side of the top bar, so maybe I'll leave it on the right hand side. And then the action, we've got a few actions we can do and I'll choose exit the course when the user clicks it and then say OK. So what that means now is I have an exit button here that when if somebody clicked on it, it would close the exit the course and close it down. Now as a little side tip you might want to um, actually link that to a light box slide that warns the person are they really sure they want to exit the course and then give them a, a second chance to go back to the course or really exit out of it. But it's a neat way of, of doing it because I don't have to put a button or an object on every slide um, and take up a bit of space on the slide, I can just have it here in the top bar. And the last thing I wanted to show you was how to rename uh, these menu and resources and even the buttons if I wanted to and, and call them something else. So to do that we stay in the player properties area but we need to choose text labels. And in the text labels area we have uh, a screen that pops up that down the left and I guess there's two columns and down the left hand side are all the buttons and messages that are display by default in Storyline and on the right hand column is the text that's actually displayed so you know what the button or the message is called and what text is actually showing. 
So for instance, if I wanted to say rename the previous button and call it back instead of PREV, what I need to do is find that uh, button and the text and, and rename it. Now, they're arranged in alphabetical order for the, for the button and messages. So if I scroll down, I, I need to go to the P section and find the previous button and here it is here, number 59. So it's, it's the previous button and the text that's displayed is PREV. But if I double click on PREV and I, I can over type and call it back and if I say update preview down here you'll see that my previous button is now called a back button. You might want to change the name of resources and call it takeaways. So again if I go to the R section and I'm looking for this one number 69 the resources tab and it's displayed resources again double click and I can call it take aways and update the preview so it's a it's a handy little way of, of renaming things that that uh, might sort of suit your course a little bit better and you can do that for all the different sorts of buttons and messages in your course well, that's it. Three quick tips for customising your player, moving some of the player tabs and menus to a different part of the player, uh, renaming some of the objects uh, from the standard names, and also creating a new custom player tab. See you next time.